Fractional distillation is an important way of separating liquids. Figure 17.29 on the left here explains fractional distillation in terms of phase equilibria. First, let's be clear what this graph is showing. It isn't a vapour pressure composition diagram. It's a boiling temperature composition diagram showing how the boiling temperature of the mixture varies according to the composition of the mixture. This particular example is for mixtures of benzene and methylbenzene. These are two chemically similar liquids, so their behaviour is reasonably ideal. The composition axis has the mole fraction of benzene increasing from left to right. And notice that because benzene is more volatile than methylbenzene, its boiling point is lower. There are two curves. The lower red curve shows the composition of the liquid and the upper blue curve shows the composition of the vapour that boils off from that liquid mixture. So for example, if you took this mixture of composition 0.2 mole fraction benzene and you boiled it, you would get a vapour with composition about 0.4. You work it out by drawing this horizontal line. You could then take that vapour and condense it and you would get a liquid whose composition was again 0.4 mole fraction of benzene. And you could take that liquid and boil it again and the vapour would become more rich still in benzene. And I think you can predict where this is all going because you could now condense that vapour and boil it again and condense it and boil it again and gradually the vapour gets richer and richer in benzene till eventually you would end up with a distillate that was pure benzene. And what's left behind is a residue that's pure methyl benzene. But rather than do a series of separate distillations, you can use a fractionating column, like the one in figure 17.28, which effectively does an infinite series of distillations in the vertical glass column, so that the distillate comes out at the top and the residue is left in the flask. Now, not all liquid mixtures behave in this straightforward way, like benzene and methylbenzene. Some liquid mixtures, with a large positive or negative deviation from Routes law, form an azeotropic mixture with a constant boiling temperature. And this means the liquids cannot be completely separated by distillation. There's an example of an azeotropic mixture in figure 17.30. It's the boiling point composition diagram for ethanol and water. If you start with a mixture containing mostly water, say here, you could distill it and the vapour coming off would be richer in ethanol. And you could condense that and boil it again and you could go through the same series of boiling and condensing as we did in the previous example. But you would end up with a mixture that was 95.6% ethanol. And when you reach that mixture, the vapour coming off has the same composition of the liquid. It's called an azeotropic mixture. And you can't make the liquid any richer in ethanol by distillation alone after that. 